everyone, it's Crystal with Decorate You, and today I'm gonna show you this simple tutorial on how to do this awesome cut out sweater. I bought this sweater from Target. You can even find one in a thrift store and you can jazz it up a little bit by cutting out slits from the sides and the back. For this project, you are going to need one light colored Sharpie, a pair of really sharp scissors, and be careful not to cut yourself, measuring tape, a sweatshirt, and a straight edge. This is a really quick and simple project that you can do and it costs less than $5. It would take maybe 10 minutes and you would have a new, edgy, cool, trendy sweatshirt. First, you're going to want to lay your sweater out on a flat surface. To make the first cut out, you are going to want to take your tape measure and measure about as far down as you want it to go, I wouldn't go past halfway of the sleeve. So I'm gonna go to about three inches and I'm gonna just mark it with my Sharpie. You want to use a light colored Sharpie so that it doesn't stain the shirt and you can just wash it out. Next, you're gonna take your scissors and you're just going to cut along the seam To about the point where you made the mark with your Sharpie. Once you've cut down to the point where you've made your mark along the seam, you're gonna cut the other way across so that it is in the shape of a triangle. You're basically cutting out a triangle so that you can create a peekaboo for your shoulders. Take your time and cut it out as neatly and as carefully as you can without cutting into the seam. You've now cut a triangle pattern out to create a peekaboo for your shoulders. If you want, you could stop here or you could cut two or three more slits to show off your arms a little bit more. I'm gonna cut two more slits across. I would measure two inches down and cut across. I wouldn't cut any less than that from the triangle because once you wash it, you don't want the cuts to be too close together. Measure two inches, make a mark. You can make a line like that. And then you can do another two inches and make another line and just cut along those lines. Now that you are done with this sleeve side, you're gonna to wanna to do the exact same thing onto the other side. So that the peekaboos for your shoulders are even, you can use the other side as a template. So I'm just gonna lay this down and trace it. Once you've traced the triangle into the shoulder of the other side, just go ahead and cut it out. Remember to make clean lines and be careful not to cut into the seams. Since I measured two inches down from the peekaboo on the other side, I'm gonna do the same thing on this side. I'm going to make a line across to meet the tip of the triangle at two inches and then another one at four inches. Carefully cut a straight line across your sweater. Do it one more time. Once you've cut out your sleeves, you are going to have a sweater that looks like this. You can stop here if you'd like. If not, you can continue cutting the back to give your sweater more unique characteristics. Now I'm gonna cut slits into the back of the sweater. And to do this evenly, I'm going to flip this over and draw lines across the back. I don't have a ruler, but you can improvise and use anything you have that has a straight edge. I'm going to make my first line under where the tag is. If you really want to make sure that your line is going to be in the center of your sweater, you can measure out the back of your sweater seam to seam. 
mine measures 16 inches. So I'm gonna draw my line from three inches to 13 inches. To make another line, I would suggest going another two inches down approximately, and then drawing another line equally as long across. I would do one more of equal length, another two inches down. Now I'm gonna do two lines that are slightly shorter than the first three lines I did. Make one more of the same length. Now I'm gonna make the shortest line. So when you cut these lines out, you're going to have a triangle pattern going down. Now I'm going to cut out all of my lines. To cut out the lines, I would suggest putting your hand into the sweater and lifting it off the table. And then you can pinch part of the line and cut a little slit into it. Now that there's a little slit in the sweater, along the line, you can put the scissor into it and cut along the line. Make sure you're not cutting the front of your sweater. Try and make your cuts as clean as possible. Have a friend help you pull your sweater so that it is nice and taut when you are cutting along the line. You're gonna cut out all of these lines, so do the same thing. You can actually reach into the slit now and cut a small little slit in the next line. Now that you've cut out all the slits in the back, it should look like this. Hopefully you didn't cut into the front of your sweater. When you wash your sweater, all of the edges will curl up and give your sweater more of a distressed look. Thanks for watching this video on Decorate You. Don't forget to subscribe and click on one of the videos below to watch another tutorial. Thank you. Bye.